Okay, it's a very misty morning today. A couple of weeks ago, we finally pulled the trigger and we had uh, someone from the village till the field, uh, at least the flat bits. And uh, we waited to do this for a long time to just see what would come up and what kind of organic matter we could like build up that way. But in our opinion, not enough was coming up. So we dis finally decided to till the part that we could. It was very hard for him to actually get into the soil because it was very dry and hard um, because it hadn't, hadn't been done in decades. Um, and what we're doing now, because it's finally raining again, we're putting in some cover crop. It's usually better to do this in the autumn, but never, better late than never. We're putting in a, a quick growing rye. Uh, and that way we can start to build the organic matter in the soil and I don't know, we'll see how it goes. For now we're just spreading this around and then hopefully it can start growing. La, la, la. Okay, behind me is the potato patch that we sowed or we put in in the fall to see if we could get some Christmas potatoes. Um, sadly, they died prematurely. They started to come up and then we had an early frost. And I also realized that this place is the worst place in the garden to actually try this because it has so little sun in the winter. So today, but exciting, exciting. They started to come up again. Um, there's no real frost in the forecast anymore. Um, so I'm just gonna let them go and see what happens. But there's also some weeds that started growing. So I just have to weed it now. Put some more uh, mulch on top and then we're good.
Today it's raining the whole day, which is good because we need the rain. But when it's so rainy, when it rains so much, it's really important to keep the fire going. Um, in addition to it just being cold otherwise, um, it might get really damp and moist inside, which is not good because our yurt is mostly from natural material, so all the cotton would start to develop mold and things. So it's really important to keep the fire going. Um, <laughs> next to it just being nice and cozy and warm yeah <laughs> hello can you smile you no can you fly map yeah <laughs> it's once again a mess in here so I'm just gonna do a quick clean a quick tidy to get it as tidy as we can get Okay, that's how much I can tidy it for right now. It's just that after the weekend, the train and the blocks were everywhere. Uh, with the wood coming in, it gets kind of messy on the floor. Um, but because it's raining, I can't really turn on uh, the vacuum because it pulls too much from the batteries. So I had to sweep. And then I'm also very much behind on laundry because it has been raining for about a week now. And on days like that, you don't really want to turn on the washing machine and we can't really dry it outside. So that's for later this week when the sun shines again. Yeah, rainy days are really kind of the hardest days in our current setup right now because it, they just limit you so much in how, you, how much you can do. Um, because if it's like raining days on end, I also don't want to do too much computer work because I don't want to drain the battery so much if I'm not sure that they will charge back up um, the next day. Um, because you don't want to keep them low uh, for too long and that really takes away how well they keep their charge. So they, that takes away their quality. So I try to be careful with that, although we have filled with that sometimes. Um, so yeah, it really limits wh what I can do, but we just uh, s stay inside mostly. We'll go outside later. They have their they have their mud suits and stuff. So, but for now, uh, we did manage to do one load of laundry yesterday. It just didn't really dry completely, so I have to hang that up here inside so that it can dry by the fire. I know it's not ideal, but it's what we have to do right now. And then, I don't know what I'm gonna do next. So sometimes this will happen, uh, the last days of rain just kind of disappear from the radar, but today we have some other interesting weather. Um, I don't know how well this goes on camera, but we have, well you can't see the mountains today. That's pretty clear. We can see the next ridge kind of, but not really. Um, all this is Sahara dust that is uh, flying over. It's very dry and everything, everything is covered in dust. This was clean after the rain, but it's really fine yellow dust sand. So yeah. No sun today.
So it's day two of the Sahara sand, desert sand, going over our region. It's going all over Europe actually, but today is a little bit worse than yesterday. St somehow, Con still can't see the mountains, can barely see the next hill. So I'm mostly trying to stay inside because it's very heavy on the lungs. Uh, so yeah. Fun. Would have preferred rain. It might rain later today, uh, so we'll see how that goes. It's really windy today, so I think it's a good day to work in the greenhouse a little bit. The chickens are finished with all this i'll show you some more later or in another video um so i think it's all right to take this off they did actually come in to this cage i'm not sure how martin thinks through here this gap was still a little bit too big and they packed that all my bok choy that i sewed a while back it's recovering i think so that's good um, all the other things were fine, all the tomatoes and starts over here were fine, so that's good. For now, um, I, I'm just going to take this off so I can use this more as a potting, um, as a potting table. I just want to mix compost a little bit because the other one is very chunky. So loud! So messy! Ignore that! <laughs> Um, so I already potted up some tomatoes because they were getting, they were growing very well. They were these Fiorentino, which is a beefsteak, as you can read there. Um, I already did seven of them, so I think I'm gonna, well, might as well pot on another few then just gonna let these grow a little bit more these are the cherry tomatoes so i'm gonna pot up some of these so i'm thinking in some of the cells there are a few coming up I'm just gonna take those out and separate them and put them in pots um i think I'll keep it at that today. Only have a few labels, and then I have a bag of pumpkin seeds. Oh no, these are pumpkin seeds. I'm gonna do those as well as some courgette. I don't know. We'll see. Depends on how many labels I have. Then I need to make some more.
so I planted all the things I wanted to plant today and then the plan was at least to do all the pumpkins and then I realized I forgot a few well one one kind I planted four kinds uh, like a honeydew honey which is basically like a smaller butternut. I planted Cinderella, um, buttercup. I've never grown that or eaten that, I think. And one of the like very big ones that our neighbor got <laughs> gave us. Um, I figured, I don't know how many pumpkins he grows, but I could try to recreate those. Uh, from, well, he gave us the pumpkin, I, I saved the seeds. And then I, re uh, but then, as I was making lunch, I remembered. Oh wait, was someone, one of you guys, sent us some seeds for uh, a gem squash, which is a South African squash seed, uh, a South African type of squash, which uh, keeps well and should grow well here. So we're also gonna try those. So I still have to plant those, and then I want to start preparing some of the holes that I want to put these pumpkins in. Back here, same outfit as last time. Um, so in this, this area I want to have uh, as a pumpkin field. And so far, I've really have not had much luck growing pumpkins. I think one of the reasons is that they grow best in basically just straight up compost. Uh, and I just planted them in the soil, uh, which is still a work in progress. So that might have been why they just wouldn't grow much. Um, I'm also still trying to get the timing right because it's good to have them fairly established before it gets hot and that's also the reason that I've now started them in pots already so I want to do a technique that I saw in a video which I will try to remember to link down below and it's basically just um, composting in place for pumpkins and because pumpkins will even grow in compost that is still composting so still breaking down maybe a little bit hot um i should have done this earlier but i didn't um so i want to dig some holes now start putting in some kitchen scraps and some left or i i cleaned out the chicken coop the other day i'm gonna put some of that in and then hopefully in a couple weeks i can plant the pumpkins there and they will actually grow properly and not just stay small and not produce anything so that's the plan since we're gonna use the trenches again and i think we'll mostly keep the beds as they are i'm gonna dig the holes in the trenches as they are now hopefully that'll be fine better planning but mostly better circumstances would have made this better but it is what it is so we're gonna do it as it is now So the thing with composting in place, as we're doing it now, is that you're kind of letting the bugs that usually live in the soil do their job. Where did this bunny go? And already found some. So they're gonna help compost all the stuff. Here's one more. Get out. 
they're gonna help compost everything and then make the soil nice and rich for the pumpkins. This little guy is gonna help. Got our compost bucket from the kitchen. This is just filled with some kitchen scraps. So anything from coffee filters to onion peels, so all that stuff. I'm gonna put some of it in the hole as well as some um, of the straw and chicken poop that I cleaned out of the chicken house last week and then fill it back up and then let the worms do their job. time to go outside because I'm getting a little bit crazy from all this wind. Um, so oops. with the chicken coop stuff here I tried to get like really some of the bits that had lots of poop in them put them in the holes and so now I just have to cover up these holes. I made six so far. I think I'm gonna put some sticks in them so I know where they are and then we're gonna go back inside. That's enough for today. It's very windy and I'm kind of out of breath. Um, I'd heard before also by you, some of you guys in the comments that this method doesn't always work. And then the consideration was uh, mice and rats getting in there, digging stuff up. I think you just saw it as well. I think one of our considerations is the dogs. <laughs> And if they're gonna dig stuff up. So we'll see uh, if I can keep them out of the garden. Uh, I need to lock the gate. Whew. Because Cece was already digging and then she'll ruin it. So 
Yeah. I'm gonna put something on the fence and then I'm gonna go inside. Let's see if that keeps her out.